Over the last years I've made a few 3D printed input devices for different tasks. As the newest addition to my family, I want to show you a simple gamepad or joystick with a high resolution made from easy to find parts. Quite some time ago I've upgraded my Tyrannus to Hall Effect gimbals like many others. As the old ones are still perfectly fine, I wanted to make something useful and decided to build a small gamepad with one joystick and six Shari MX switches. Today I want to show you how I've made this, so if you have one of these gimbals lying around, you can make one yourself. This gamepad features an STM32 F103 microcontroller, which can be programmed like an Arduino and emulates an Xbox gamepad. I chose the STM over an Arduino because of the higher ADC resolution of 12 bits compared to only 10 bits on most Arduino boards. This is the 3D model of the housing. You can find it on Thingiverse linked in the description. I've made this originally in the form of a live stream, but I've also made some changes afterwards to make it fit a bit better and to make it easier to assemble. The top part has holes for the six keyboard switches and mounting points for the joystick. It pushes tightly into the holes and can get screwed to the bottom piece, which holds the microcontroller and wires. So um, what we can try now is to remove the pins from these JST plugs. These are from my Tyrannus and uh, they are 12 pin and these are some uh, extra pins which go to some daughter board inside the Tyrannus. Um, and I will need to take all these out and put them in these plugs. <clears throat> and when I've done this, I can connect it to these, as I've already soldered onto my SM32. The model is made for the popular black pill board. You can screw or glue it into the compartment on the right side like this, and it should line up well with the USB hole. Here I have already pressed the stick into the top plate on the left and the switches snap tightly into the holes in the plate, so I'm just going to press them all in. You can use any Sherry keycap and I've later decided to use symmetrical and flatter caps instead of these normal keycaps because I found them to be better to use at diagonal angles. I've used PA0 and PA1 for the analog input pins and the row PB11 to PA6 on the other side for the buttons. Your wires should be long enough to allow for simple mounting of top plate with all parts inserted. Now I've soldered all the switches to ground and the corresponding pins on the board. The parts will later get screwed together through the original screw holes on the stick. The code I've used here is pretty simple and it's also linked on Thingiverse and the description. It's using the USB composite library which already has Xbox descriptors and you just have to map the analog values and buttons to the ones you need. In this case the joystick is mapped to the left stick and also the triggers for some racing games. For the end I will demonstrate it in a game by trying to drift with a tripod in my face. <laughs> 